So look, going to a retreat led by Nicole Kidman, where you've got Melissa McCarthy, Michael Shannon, Bobby Cannaval, Luke Evans, and Samara Weaving, but maybe you have some horrible visions and, and some weird side effects? Probably worth it. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass, and today I'm going to review the first six episodes of Nine Perfect Strangers, which are releasing on Hulu on August 18, 2021. It's an eight-episode miniseries. I've watched the first six episodes, so I have an idea of what happens and some of the some of the plot twists that, that occur, but I don't have the full picture, so some of my comments might be moot once the full series is out. But I'm going to give you my impressions on the first six episodes and just kind of give you an idea of what you can expect from this film. Now, uh, Hulu has asked to not have any spoilers, so this will be a spoiler for your review. It, it's a new thing. I know most of my reviews tend to have spoilers, but I'm going to try my best and not spoil it so that you can enjoy the surprises, Nine Perfect Strangers, episode by episode. So Nine Perfect Strangers involves nine strangers, uh, kind of strangers. They're not actually strangers. Like, some of the people are related, but nine people that go to this re retreat led by this guru, uh, Masha, played by Nicole Kidman. She's this kind of Russian guru that is supposed to be able to kind of open your mind and enlighten you and have you go to places that you didn't you know, expect to be able to go. Uh, and so these people all kind of come to her retreat for very different reasons. And they all kind of gather and start going through the process of you know, her retreat. I believe it's 10 days. And so... Each day there's different challenges, there's different activities, um, their diet alters slightly based on what they're doing, and they kind of start to get more in touch with themselves and their feelings, and you find out reasons why as the series goes along. There's a lot of surprises, there's a lot of, you know, things about the character's past that come up, things about Masha's past that come up, uh, interpersonal conflicts and things of that nature throughout. It's it's a very kind of dramatic uh emotional type of event and it's it, it's a very it's a good it's a good series you know i'm enjoying it i enjoyed the first six episodes i, I wish i had the last two because i'd like to see how it ends but i'm enjoying what i've seen so far so uh three things i liked about this series uh the first is it's pretty obvious the cast the cast is pretty phenomenal for this this mini event um you know anytime you have melissa mccarthy michael shannon uh bobby Cannavale, luke evans Nicole Kidman, uh, Samara Weaving. Uh, you've got this fantastic group of actors who get to play these very interesting characters. There's a lot of people with baggage here. There's a lot of characters that have past uh, you know, things in their past, things that they're trying to overcome, things that they're trying to kind of get through. And so you get to see these characters kind of play these emotional, sometimes wrecks, sometimes not, sometimes they're in denial. But you get to see these these actors play these really interesting kind of layered characters. Um, and you get to see them go through it, right? You don't just get this broken character who refuses to admit what's going on like they kind of peel it back throughout the series as far as i can see like you know in the first six episodes they do kind of peel back some of those layers and get into some of the reasons why they are they're guarded or they're embarrassed or you know they've had this thing in the past and so that's really fun to see it's it's fun to see these characters it's it's interesting it's kind of engaging you get emotionally attached to the characters and some of their plights so it's it's, it's a good series and a fantastic cast the, the second thing I love is the setting. I, I think it's set in California. I mean, it's got that kind of California look to it with a uh, beautiful sun. I think there's there must be a I think there's a beach. Or at least there's uh, you know water elements. There's beautiful rolling hills. There's some forest. Like, there's a lot of really beautiful places, very picturesque places that uh, these characters go to in order to get enlightenment and kind of unpack what they have. And that's all helped by some really good cinematography. I'm not going to put that as a separate one, but the cinematography meshes well with the setting. You get some very beautiful nature scenes, some very beautiful kind of angles where you've got like the sunlight streaming through some trees or you've got, you know, these characters kind of unpacking things in their past in these like beautiful rolling green hills. And so you've got some just beautiful places to to watch and it's fun to see because some people haven't been outside for a while and so this is a nice you know way to experience that 
Uh, and the last thing I really love is the mystery. I mean, this film, this series, I, I keep saying film, this series has a lot of mystery. Like, you know, the characters all, the first episode is pretty much the characters all coming together and you don't really know much about them. And as the series has progressed, you learn a little bit more about them. You learn more about their past. You learn more about what they are, what they may be running from or what they may be trying to kind of fix in themselves. Uh, and so as it goes, you get to learn more about these people. And sometimes you'll have little flashbacks uh, in, the, in the TV show but it takes a while to get through all of that. And that's really fun to see, especially over a longer mini series. You really get to kind of delve into each of them and, and see what makes them tick and what they, you know, what they might be running for. And you get to guess too, because it'll have hints about, you know, what, what they might have happened or what might have happened in the past. And so you get to kind of follow them along, which is a lot of fun. And you get to, and even it's not just limited to the characters, right? Masha also, and, and her, crew she has some i don't know disciples if you want to call them i guess they're workers or they might be disciples uh that help her but they all everyone has something about them that is broken or something about them that they have to overcome uh and e even masha masha has some stuff in her past that you get to kind of experience as the the series progresses so things i didn't love uh, the first is the pace. I'll preface this. I usually watch films. I don't watch that many TV series. So maybe that's, maybe this is true because you have a multi-episode event. Like, you know, th this series I think is what, six episodes, roughly 45 minutes each. So that's, it's like one Lord of the Rings or four or three normal movies. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot more content and that leads to a pace that kind of goes a little slower, I think. And that also could be maybe the genre. This is a little more dramatic. There's not as much action as I was expecting. There's a little bit of intrigue. There's a little bit of light horror elements. And there's a whole lot of drama and emotion. And so that leads to some of the episodes and some sections of the episodes feeling kind of slow, you know, because sometimes things just don't happen. Sometimes the characters are just relaxing and sometimes, you know, they're not necessarily always having epiphanies. Uh, and so the, the series can slow down, at least as far as I've seen that. Maybe in the last two episodes, it really picks up and it, you know, kind of barrels towards a conclusion. But uh, this is a slower series and maybe, you know, it, it's probably good over the course of multiple days. I kind of binged it. So or that, that probably also affected my criticism of the pace. Uh, the second thing I didn't love, uh, but again, this might be fixed in the last two episodes. Uh, this is about a guru, and they, they pull a hint of other gurus in the past. I mean, there's like a sweat lodge-ish scene. There's some strange dietary scenes. There's some, uh, you know, opening your mind type situations. But it just, it doesn't feel like anything gets as extreme as they could have gone. Like some of these, some of these activities that she, that, that Masha has them undertake, could be a little more extreme than I think they are portrayed. And maybe that will be saved for the later episodes when they, you know, when they're really kind of on the path of enlightenment. But so far it's been interesting. There have been revelations. There have been some emotion, you know, some very emotional scenes and some really good acting from the cast, but nothing has been that extreme yet. Maybe that'll change, but it does feel like a little bit pulled back from what I was expecting in terms of a guru kind of really pushing her you know, uh, disciples, uh, camp, camp people, campmates, uh, I expected a little bit more and it has been a little bit more pedestrian than I was thinking. Um, and the last thing I don't, you know, love as much is the mystery, but that's kind of a double-edged sword. Cause I think, I think some of this will come out towards the end, but in the, at least in the first six episodes, there's still a decent amount of mystery that they don't explain. There's some care, you know, there's some, events that have happened that you don't get to, you know, you haven't, I haven't learned about. There's some elements of all the characters past that I don't really know about. Um, and it, it feels like at this point, I, I have a good sense of the characters, but I thought I would maybe know more and know more about kind of the overall conclusion of the series. Now there's still two episodes left, which is, you know, a full quarter of the series that I haven't watched. So maybe that'll be fixed by them, but at least in the first six episodes, there's still a decent amount of mystery that just it doesn't feel like uh, it's it's giving me as much and maybe that's maybe that's complimented or maybe that's a criticism that is tied in with the pace i felt like maybe at this point if it was going a little faster i should have known more but again i haven't seen the last two episodes 
what I have seen so far, I've liked. It is it is good. It is interesting. The cast is fantastic. The characters are all really great characters. That should probably also be another plus is the characters. I really like each of the characters. They're each, uh, like I said, I've kind of said this already, but each character comes with their own baggage and they're they're all very different. Everyone has a very different issue that they're dealing with and a different past experience or different things that they're looking for at this camp. But they all complement each other very well, which I think is kind of the idea of this series. And so it's really, it's fun to see these characters have very, very different interests and backgrounds and life experiences come together and and you know form friendships form emotional relationships uh it, it, it is a, it is an interesting cast and it is an interesting setup for these characters to then interact so that is nine perfect strangers it's streaming on hulu on august 18th 2021 i mean if, uh, if you've got hulu i think you should check it out you know if anything for the cast and just for some of these you know characters you can watch the first two episodes you'll kind of know if you like it or not my wife Loved it. I, I like it. I, you know, I want to see how it ends. I don't think I loved it as much as she did. But again, maybe it's because of my short attention span from only watching movies. So that's Nine Perfect Strangers. You can check it out on Hulu. And thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all of my new content goes straight to you. And hey, when the new episodes come out, I'll review those as well. So thanks so much. Yeah.